Hi, welcome back. Whoopi Goldberg has added her voice to the chorus of stars paying tribute to Maggie Smith. As we previously reported, Maggie recently passed away at the age of 89. She and Whoopi co-starred in the beloved 1992 comedy Sister Act, as well as its 1993 sequel, Sister Act 2, Back in the Habit. In the decades that followed, the two screen legends remained close friends. And Whoopi credited Maggie with lending much-needed support after the passing of her mother in 2010. Shortly after news of Maggie's passing went public, Whoopi posted a photo of the two of them on set, along with a heartfelt caption. Maggie Smith was a great woman and a brilliant actress. I still can't believe I was lucky enough to work with a one-of-a-kind. Goldberg wrote, adding, My heartfelt condolences go out to the family. Rest in peace. It was not the first time that Whoopi mentioned Maggie in recent months. Recalling her mother's death in a recent interview with People TV, Goldberg praised Smith for helping her endure the grief. Having Maggie Smith be there and being able to fall apart and having her say, listen, my friend, we'll get you through this. We'll get you through this, Goldberg said. We'll get you to the hospital so you can get her. Get you back to Berkeley so you can get home, she continued. We were up all night just laughing and talking about stuff. And she had met my mom a couple of times. Just having somebody who got it, who understood, it's everything. Whoopi also mentioned Maggie while discussing the possibility of a Sister Act 3 during a recent podcast interview. She addressed her friend over the air, telling Smith, we just can't do it with anybody but you. So, if you need me to come over here and shoot it, and do whatever we have to do, we will do whatever you want us to do, Whoopi said. But we don't want to do it without you, Maggie. Maggie's passing was announced this morning her her sons, who revealed that she died peacefully in a hospital. An intensely private person, she was with friends and family at the end, the statement read. She leaves two sons and five loving grandchildren who are devastated by the loss of their extraordinary mother and grandmother. We would like to take this opportunity to thank the wonderful staff at the Chelsea and Westminster Hospital for their care and unstinting kindness during her final days. Maggie's sons continued. We thank you for all your kind messages and support and ask that you respect our privacy at this time. Smith's family has not made any announcement with regard to her cause of death. As the revered actress passed away in a hospital, we can surmise that her death was the result of an illness and was not unexpected. Smith had battled Graves' disease for several decades. She was also diagnosed with breast cancer in 2007, but in 2009, insiders reported that she had made a full recovery. We will relay new information about the screen legend's final days as reliable reports become available. Our thoughts go out to Maggie's loved ones during this enormously difficult moment. Maggie Smith and Whoopi Goldberg share a remarkable friendship that transcends generations, cultures, and artistic backgrounds. Both are celebrated actresses in their own right, known for their exceptional talents and unique contributions to film, theater, and television. Their bond, which began over a mutual respect for each other's work, has evolved into a deep and enduring friendship. Maggie Smith, born in 1934 in England, gained prominence as a formidable stage actress before making her mark in film and television. She is renowned for her roles in classic films like The Prime of Miss Jean Brodie and her more recent portrayal of Professor McGonagall in the Harry Potter series. Smith's ability to convey complex emotions with grace and nuance earned her a place among the finest actors of her generation. Whoopi Goldberg, born in 1955 in New York City, burst onto the scene with a groundbreaking performance in The Color Purple, for which she received an Academy Award nomination. Her unique blend of comedy and drama set her apart, and her later success as a talk show host and producer showcased her versatility. Both actresses, though different in style and approach, have broken barriers in the entertainment industry, earning respect from peers and fans alike. Their friendship blossomed in the 1990s, particularly as they both became more entrenched in Hollywood's cultural landscape. They first met at industry events, where their mutual admiration was palpable. Smith appreciated Goldberg's fearless approach to comedy and her ability to tackle serious subjects with humor, while Goldberg admired Smith's exquisite talent and her ability to embody a range of characters. What solidified their bond was their shared commitment to social issues and advocacy. Both have used their platforms to address important topics, including race, gender equality, and mental health. Their conversations often delve into these subjects, highlighting their shared values and the importance of using their voices for change. 
their friendship deepened further through collaboration. They both participated in various charity events and performances, uniting for causes they believed in. For instance, they shared the stage for the annual A Night of Comedy fundraising event, where they would entertain audiences while raising money for various charities. Their chemistry on stage was infectious, and audiences were treated to a blend of Smith's wit and Goldberg's humor. Behind the scenes, they have supported each other during challenging times. Both actresses have faced personal struggles, Smith with health issues and Goldberg with battles against public scrutiny and personal loss. Their friendship has served as a source of strength and encouragement. They often speak publicly about the importance of having a trusted friend to lean on during tough times, illustrating how their bond transcends the typical Hollywood friendship. Over the years, Smith and Goldberg have shared numerous experiences that have brought them closer, whether attending award shows, celebrating each other's successes, or simply enjoying a night out. They have created cherished memories that strengthen their connection. Their playful banter and shared sense of humor often light up these occasions, making them a favorite duo on the red carpet. One notable moment occurred at the 2012 Academy Awards, where they shared a lighthearted exchange that highlighted their camaraderie. As they presented an award together, their effortless chemistry and mutual respect shone through, delighting the audience. Their genuine joy in each other's company serves as a reminder of the importance of friendship in an industry often marked by competition. Both Smith and Goldberg have influenced each other's careers in subtle yet significant ways. Their conversations about acting and storytelling have led to deeper insights into their own craft. Smith's mastery of dramatic roles has encouraged Goldberg to explore more serious characters, while Goldberg's comedic brilliance has inspired Smith to embrace humor in her performances. Their friendship also reflects the evolving landscape of Hollywood, where collaborations between diverse talents are increasingly celebrated. They embody the idea that true artistry knows no bounds, and that friendships can thrive in an industry that often pits individuals against one another. As they continue to navigate their careers, Smith and Goldberg remain steadfast in their support for one another. Their friendship serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration for younger artists, demonstrating that it is possible to maintain deep, meaningful connections amidst the chaos of fame. In interviews, they frequently reflect on the value of their friendship, emphasizing the importance of laughter, understanding, and compassion. They remind us that friendships can be as important as professional accolades, providing emotional sustenance and joy throughout life's ups and downs. Maggie Smith and Whoopi Goldberg's friendship is a testament to the power of connection in the world of entertainment. Their bond, rooted in mutual respect and shared experiences, highlights the beauty of collaboration and support. As they continue to inspire each other and audiences worldwide, their friendship remains a shining example of how love, laughter, and loyalty can flourish in the spotlight. Their journey together is a celebration of not just their individual talents, but also the profound impact of friendship that transcends the stage and screen. Maggie Smith is a distinguished actress whose career spans over seven decades, marked by her exceptional talent, versatility, and a commitment to her craft. Born on December 28, 1934, in Essex, England, she began her journey in the performing arts at a young age, and her career trajectory has made her one of the most respected figures in both theatre and film. Maggie Smith grew up in a theatrical environment, as her mother was a secretary to a playwright. She attended the Northside School and later studied at the Independent School for Girls, the Bishop Stortford College, where she participated in school plays. Her love for acting solidified during her time at the University of Cambridge, where she studied English literature and performed in various theatrical productions. It was here that she honed her craft, developing a unique style that would set her apart from her peers. Smith's professional career began in the late 1950s with her stage debut in a production of The Crowd at the Oxford Playhouse. She quickly gained recognition for her talent, earning her first significant role in the 1960 production of The Royal Family at the Lyric Theatre in London. Her ability to portray complex characters with depth and nuance caught the attention of critics and audiences alike. Throughout the 1960s, Smith became a prominent figure in British theatre, performing with the Royal Shakespeare Company and gaining acclaim for her performances in plays such as A Midsummer Night's Dream and Hamlet. Her stage presence and remarkable ability to convey emotion earned her numerous awards, including a Tony Award for Best Actress in a play for her role in the prime of Miss Jean Brodie in 1967. 
Maggie Smith's transition to film came in the late 1960s, where she quickly established herself as a formidable talent in the movie industry. Her role in the prime of Miss Jean Brody, 1969, adapted from Muriel Sparks' novel, earned her an Academy Award for Best Actress. The film showcased her ability to embody a complex character, Miss Jean Brody, a passionate and controversial teacher, and solidified her status as a leading actress. The 1970s brought continued success, with Smith appearing in a variety of films that showcased her range. She starred in The Abominable Doctor Fibes, 1971, Murder on the Orient Express, 1974, and The Taming of the Shrew, 1967. Each role further highlighted her versatility, whether in drama, comedy, or thriller genres. In addition to her film career, Smith made significant contributions to television. She appeared in popular series such as The Jewel in the Crown, 1984, a critically acclaimed adaptation of Paul Scott's novels set in British-ruled India, which earned her a BAFTA Award for Best Actress. Her portrayal of the character Sarah Layton showcased her ability to navigate complex emotional landscapes, further cementing her reputation as an outstanding actress. The 1990s and 2000s saw Smith achieve iconic status with roles that captivated audiences. She played the role of Professor Minerva McGonagall in the Harry Potter film series, beginning with Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, 2001. Her portrayal of the strict yet nurturing professor became beloved by fans of the franchise and introduced her to a new generation of viewers. In 2004, she received a second Academy Award nomination for her role in The Last Chance Harvey, in which she played a lonely woman who finds unexpected companionship. This role highlighted her ability to convey vulnerability and warmth, reminding audiences of her deep emotional range. Maggie Smith's career continues to flourish, with recent projects including the acclaimed series Downton Abbey, where she portrayed the sharp-tongued dowager countess Violet Crawley. Her performance earned her several awards and nominations, showcasing her comedic timing and ability to steal scenes, even among an ensemble cast. In 2019, she reprised her role in Downton Abbey, the movie further solidifying her status as a cultural icon. Her contributions to film, television, and theater have been recognized with numerous accolades, including multiple BAFTA awards, Golden Globe awards, and a prestigious Laurence Olivier award. Outside of her professional achievements, Smith's personal life has also influenced her career. She has been open about the challenges she faced, including her battle with health issues. Despite these challenges, she remains a figure of resilience, inspiring many aspiring actors and actresses. Maggie Smith's influence extends beyond her performances. She represents a generation of actresses who have broken barriers and paved the way for future talents. Her commitment to her roles, her advocacy for the arts, and her passion for storytelling have made her an enduring figure in the entertainment industry. Maggie Smith's career is a remarkable tapestry woven from decades of dedication to her craft. From her early days in the theatre to her iconic roles in film and television, she has consistently demonstrated her exceptional talent and versatility. As she continues to inspire audiences with her performances, Smith's legacy as one of the great actresses of our time is firmly established, reminding us of the power of storytelling and the lasting impact of a dedicated artist.